hello again my beautiful and precious friends I'm doing this video for a second time actually because I did it the first time and uh, as I've already mentioned earlier to a friend um, it sounded like somebody was having a pee in the background so I think it needs to be done again <laughs> uh, it's a lovely day here in the UK sun's been out all day and it's coming to the end of the day so it's lovely sun shining down and I've got my wind chimes going as usual so that's really nice so we've spoken many times of heaven coming to earth and certain dates like um, December 2012 they've come and gone uh, for changes to be predicted and awakenings to occur yet yeah, all of us are absolutely right now without knowing it some of us aren't aware that we're all in the full swing of this emergence um, some remain trapped within the illusion of the third dimension still whilst some are still shifting into the fourth and fifth now that's not some over the head type thing that's really quite easy to understand is that when there were times when we lived in those times where we thought the earth was flat and then suddenly you get to find out actually we live on a on a planet on a globe floating in space and uh, we have to come to terms with that and with that comes an enormous shift on how you perceive everything around you how you think about things um, and that's that's moving into another dimension that's how we shift so everything gets shifted when we suddenly understand something else that comes along and so it, many people are still trapped in this third dimensional illusion where they feel that they have no power uh, having said this when shifted still we are experiencing illusions since we're not yet ready for what is even beyond that and those who remain within the third will view everybody around them that has shifted as crazy and um, what you speak of all you know and experience will seem to them to be madness yet yeah, just as you they too exist on levels which to those before them would deem crazy and those who have shifted may judge those that haven't as stupid lost or stuck and that judgmental way of being is something we need to shift further from to end all these uh, conflicts that are going on in the world uh, it all starts with ourselves remember you are all of you still experiencing duality or you wouldn't be physical um, we've all lived through singular dimensions and we've all lived through the creation and understanding and revelation of this duality. Um, we've all doubted it, experienced it, experienced moving through it and doubted it again. Not because we're going backwards but because we're moving forwards and that's not about moving forwards in time because time itself is an illusion. As we're evolving everything around us and ourselves is shifting shape uh, we're always staying in one place in the present yes while yet whilst you view your view of what you experience is altering so too does the experience itself and through many lifetimes you've witnessed yourself die a thousand times witnessed yourself meet significant others witnessed yourself be shaped by them and currently whilst in the third dimension and moving from it you also have been able to hone in and focus upon the levels of that dimension up to that which you have currently evolved to and no further you can look at what's happened and what has been but not what's about to happen some are ready and altering this state um, and are able to envision others due to what they and what what they have witnessed others experience but they can only share information of what it could be like or what it might be like and 
you know, and we all know what has already been. So everybody's basing everything upon what's past and what is present. We can't really know what's going to happen in the future other than what other people might perceive it to be. So now uh, we can understand that others have already been shaping us all this time and we've all created the greatest dramas and supported wars and you're seeing that you have collectively all been a part of the problem, myself included. When you're ready to wa uh, wake up and ready to take responsibility for having been so led, when you choose to no longer be a victim and play the victim role by altering your view back to your true nature, that being love, you'll no longer take sides. Instead, you'll demand that any horror or anything of any kind that is harming anybody else or any animal, no matter its reason or purpose of which has also occurred due to those others also being caught into the same way of following others' ideals and perceived truths, it's you who must have empathy and this deeper understanding enough of their position because you've been there before too, before you woke up, before you understood. Uh, knowing that where they're standing from rather than fighting against those that do harm against them their physical selves we too must stand firm and fight our own demons placed with our own within our own mindset with balanced truths there's some in fact many thousands that have managed this beautifully those that are ready to take that leap and speak up about love and truth what is real versus what's unreal Many have developed the skills of deeper understanding and knowledge that goes even beyond the fourth dimensional levels and can shift into the fifth. These people can and do tap into this place from time to time. And as we evolve into further dimensions, which have been paved before us through visionaries and creative artists, it can be as if there are two worlds merging. These places are visions of peace. We've got to make this be our future. If we create this as our potential future, then that's what the lines in which we're going to go down to create the future that we're going to be living in. So these people, if they are encouraging a view a different way, us to view a different way, but are often seen as they're often seen as mad as well to those who still support a side and can't see beyond sides. Creation is the soul's journey, and you collectively are the creator within it. You're the creative aspect of your soul. And you've always had the power to create peace. So do you see now? Sometimes you seek too hard within this, your physical reality, in order to try and alter it. And the word world seems to be there hindering you from being able to live this life of peace. But it's the hindrance, it's the belief in this hindrance that is causing you so much trouble. Your ability to change exists already and you, all of you, collectively, are the answer. It is a contemporary and current thought that science has all the answers. Yet scientists also entrap themselves in the need to seek. And as they seek, uh, they do so with physical ships built with physical things, um, parts and technology to search for what can't be seen with such intensity. This intensity is the clinging to the physical reality and believing only this to be real. Where there is no other truth and reality than this which you see with your own physical senses. Eventually you understand that your Error, the error is where you view the universe and as an external source only and this source is and always has been within you and everything that you've been craving for you realize that 
this you need to release this part of you from these perceived boxes where only one way to give thanks and gratitude for all that you see around you when you be believe that that is the there's only one correct way to to give that thanks and every other way is the incorrect way uh, you put then you can't you get f stuck within that box and you start to sort of see that that's your way is the right and way and everybody's the wrong way and that's where religion comes in isn't it everybody feels that their way is right but there's so many ways to praise your loved ones praise your children and give thanks to them only when you re release these illusions of the existence of this perceived physical plane those times where you feel at one with nature where you tap into the experience the emergence of your being opens up to other worlds but some of us can only hold on to that reality just for a few seconds and in those few seconds we see through the illusion and witness things which cannot be explained on this realm. In this third and even the fourth dimension, the energy you feel when you are at one with nature, with the earth and her grounding material being, keeps you steady whilst experience this divine moment that so many try to achieve through drugs and other such mind-altering experiences and substances. All such plants are there for your healing for medicines not to play with to induce visions since many of these visions are false and are there to create your belief that there are new worlds but those worlds that you will see when induced by drugs are not as it is you're not ready for this if you require the use of anything physical to see You've become too reliant upon earth's gifts of plants and foods that you lose the knowledge on how to merge with the true nature of the universe beyond the tangible. Everything that exists is made up of the tiniest light fractions, molecules of light, including you. Love is the only one channel in which you may travel through the corridors into other realms of existence. On earth there are two channels which work in a way that keeps you held onto this plane. One disenables you from shifting into another. Yet on this plane your experience depends upon that very thing which keeps you here in this illusion. In this life experience that you hold on to. The beliefs you hold on to as absolute knowing that this is the only life and only world. And that, that is fear. So, as I say, whilst many search for other worlds in this physical reality, they will see only barren, sparse planets. They're looking through the eyes of fear that therefore holds them trapped in the one reality of knowing it to be. When born into this world, you move into this reality with pain as your anchor, which keeps you held into the world and all of, it, all of these experiences. And upon death, you move out of this reality and pain is removed, duality is removed. There's only one love as a channel that opens up and takes us on a new journey. Some of you already do this through meditation. Some of you move in and out of this reality temporarily. You can find places upon earth that are places where your peace lies. Sometimes you may be doing this with a different intention than a personal one. But if the energies require your healing, it will always take you to a place where it asks you to begin there. To begin that journey first before attempting to heal anywhere or anything else. So here is a message in all of our meditations and synchronistic events. And that message is divine intervention. All of these lessons are meant to be learnt here on earth. And you, all of you experience this through one another's experience and loss. Loss, it, loss itself is another illusion. When a loved one dies, we're simply that person shifting out of the physical experience. 
Of course, we only see the physical part of this experience in the physical. You can only witness the physical body losing its life energy. That life energy still exists, but now without the pain, without the duality, without the physical. A shift through a loss of another's experience of pain can leave us traumatised. This trauma can be so much less when we step into the knowing that our loved ones have just shifted, not died at all. The universe is always proving to you that you are connected, just as you have to convince yourself this is real, more real than the reality that you currently exist within. The pain body that you carry around holds you here. The pain of hurt and love is one of the most damaging of all. And that is currently going on in this physical plane, even more than any physical hurt. Right now our governments are creating so much mental torture and in this physical reality. And that is keeping us in depression, keeping us bound into this physical reality where healing is something beyond imagination. Yet during your meditations, if you cleanse and clear before and afterwards, you will find that you can get past even this. Always cleanse and clear yourself first. Always do this before healing meditations, which involve the Earth's grid, since those who do most harm are able to use your open channels to get to you. Never forget to cleanse your energy after meditation too, even where you feel euphoric. Sage is perfect for this after meditation or ritual and I've um, actually picked some from my garden and dried it. And burning a bit of sage is very cleansing to, uh, to do, to use. So where you use meditation to heal and cleanse self, even meditative, meditative journeys speed up the process of healing the physical body and offers a greater well-being and presence of love which can be long-lasting. Unlike the use of drugs, meditation does not leave a damaged body. Meditation, if used and heed, heeded wisely, will help you avoid illnesses, but only if heeded. If ignored and you carry on attempting to heal others in an unhealed state, you'll cause yourself inner physical damage which may manifest in very various different ways. The more you tap into your spirit self, the self of pure love, the more you will experience loss as a concept rather than a truth. You will come to know it to be a false idea which is born of taking on fear followed by pain and self-torture. There is only one ultimate truth. This truth is now being accessed by many of you, and that is that there is no death. This is becoming a knowing rather than a belief, where perhaps a maybes creep in since even in your most strongest held religions, where you've become so embossed in a system of systematic information input, even here you secretly have your doubts, and where you see your doubts as your enemy, and where you fear God's punishment of such doubts, your fear keeps you entrapped in this physical realm more than any other. And it's here that religion itself has become as much an enemy to your spiritual development as any political agenda. Since where your beliefs that you deserve to be punished is so strong, your doubts of these religious ideals would have to be equally strong, if, you're, if not stronger, to release yourselves. These beliefs give cause for you to remain in pain. Release yourself into nature and our truth. This is not the pain, that, uh, pain is not God's gift of love and re release is God's gift to you. And this release will grant you eternal life, not your fear. Releasing fear fully can only happen when you become fully authentic. And so I meditate on this. 
by being fully and completely open and honest with my thoughts. I am in a place where I have absolutely nothing to hide. Where I'm not afraid to say what I think. This may not win me friends. But it gets me the right kind of friends that are true and honest with me too. And are able to be open and honest with me equally. And I no longer care for those who are not here to be, to be here in times when I'd wished that I could not pick up on their lies and lack of authenticity. I have in the past denied my own feelings to try and believe those who are less than honest. And now I am fully trusting in my own soul's whispers and I'm finding a space of honesty within myself that I now understand will serve me in the not too distant future. I strive to be fully authentic, true and honest and will share even the worst parts of my experience regardless of all others. Regardless of threats even I know without doubt nothing will ever change all the while we allow our fear and others threats to rule our world. I see others doing this too on the greater scale where they are being viewed as people who don't care for their children if they refuse to conform where their children are being used as targets to create that conformity don't think for one moment that your own countries and policies are peaceful since where they have taken children from families and parents, they are creating the same violence on a lesser scale, but it's about enforcing conformity and killing our power to be our individual light. We must open up and share the things which cause us hurt and pain, because when we do so, we give others the permission to do the same. Secretive people who hide their truths will likely not get along with me very well. I hurt for the many, many people who are trapped in fear of speaking up about their experiences because they think it will make their situation worse. In so doing, we allow ourselves to become the victim and the bullied. If there is anyone out there looking at my profile, trying to find things that they can use against me, I no longer care. Truth has its way of coming round and revealing itself and where I have suffered for truth I know that eventually it only hurts those who choose not to live by it. One day my children will be free to listen to this and know me to be real, authentic and true and those who have lied to do harm they will know to be liars who did harm Truth always finds its way home, and I have lived by it. I, who have deemed to live freely, and I demand to live freely, to live fearlessly and honestly with myself, no matter how others wish to label this crazy, through their needs for me to stay secretly, secretive and quiet, less authentic, and less real than I am. Those who will even use children to ensure I put up and shut up. And to ensure that our children too must put up and shut up. Regardless of their need, my conscience conscious is clear. And through my life, though my life has not been as I wished it to be due to others' actions, the lies against me, their need to tell a different story and make lies seem like truth. I can live with integrity and honour within myself. And know that those who know the truth and don't wish to share it for the purpose of their own self-protection will inside know it too. This is the only way to create balance and healing in the world. And this world requires for all of us to step up to the altar of truth and live it. You must be aware that you are a victim only to your own doubts when you doubt the truth of your own soul. For those who have taken the time to listen right to the end of this video, you are the ones that you've been waiting for. 
since the resonance in your hearts has kept you here. I bless you all. Please remember to always see love. Namaste.